My name is Vinayak and I'll be presenting my Simulink Student Challenge 2019. It'll be the longitudinal non-linear simulation of an unstable aircraft along with linearizing along a trim condition and then developing a MIMO state space model of a controller. The simulation will also be performed in flight gear to see how the airplane behaves in real time. Some of the advantages are listed here. But when it comes to fixed wing aircraft, they have very complex dynamics. For example, the aerodynamic derivatives need to be computed very quickly and this can be achieved via Simulink lookup tables. In addition, if you are linearizing at some condition, you have to calculate what is known as the stability derivatives and this you can obtain empirically from the model itself. And lastly, we can perform simulations under various scenarios and look at how the aircraft behaves. So before I go into Simulink, let's look at some background information. Let's look at first the longitudinal equations of motion. When it comes to the ECEF frame, the earth centered earth fixed, you can also then obtain the displacement and the altitude. Here is an illustration of the error coefficients. You can see how they are a function of the angle of attack alpha and the elevator angle delta E. Similarly, the pilot inputs are also saturated between negative 25 and 25 degrees for the elevator and about 4.4 thousand to 84 thousand for the force. So the next big thing is to calculate the stability and control derivatives. So this was obtained by the nonlinear model by doing a small linear approximation along the trim condition. You can see here that the trim speed was about 145 meters per second and a small linear approximation was taken along that point. For our controller, for the linearized model, we proposed a robust servo mechanism. Now that this has been done many times by, at NASA and at Boeing, it's simply tracking a set point with zero error. And you can see that it is two loops. The inner loop, as you all know, is the stability augmentation and the outer loop is the command augmentation. When we achieved our simulation for landing at Montreal Airport, we achieved very good tracking for Delta U. 60 seconds we perform a flare so we drop the speed so let's now go into simulink and i'm going to be showing you how i used it for this project okay so here we have the simulink model and initially we have the joystick that takes in roll pitch and yaw but since this is only in one plane we just have elevator input this is modeled as an actuator with gain and a rate saturation next we have the force input which is simply a lookup table which we use to calculate the force based on the setting. This will go into the error coefficients where you can find CX, CZ and CM. These, these are simply lookup tables as you can see here. For some of them, they are one dimensional as it is only a function of angle of attack. But some are a function of both elevator and angle of attack. Hence, we have two dimensional lookup tables here. It's the same thing for CX, CZ, and CM. Next, after the lookup tables, you can get the longitudinal equations of motion where we have the forces being calculated here, X, Z, and M. Then we solve the four equations here. We can also find angle of attack and absolute velocity. Then you can output a bunch of values here. So this function here calculates the standard atmospheric pressure and Mach number based on the speed and the height. When that's done, you can export all these states, U, W, Q, as mentioned before, in the equations of motion. And next, you can also calculate the displacement X and Z, which is just a simple differential equation. Thank you for watching and I wish everyone the best who is participating in the Simulink Student Challenge 2019. Bye.